Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Pump People here, and today we're interviewing Seth from The Walking Dead, and let's do this. What's been your favorite kind of role to play, and what kind of role would you like to play that you haven't played yet? I think uh, my favorite kind of roles are the characters who are just a little deranged, I would say, a little crazy. I've been able to do a couple of plays where I've played some characters who are on the edge of their, um, uh, their, their sanity, which is always fun. And I think what I'd really like to play next is a cowboy. I want to do a western, you know? I want to ride a horse, I want to have two six-shooters on either side, I want to have a ten-gallon hat, it doesn't matter what color it is. I don't care if I'm a good guy or a bad guy or just, you know, a guy who rides through. I want to do a western. What is your favorite memory of when you were filming The Wire? Favorite memory of when I was filming The Wire? I think any scene that I did with Dominic Lombardozzi, um, really, they, they were my favorite moments of working on The Wire. I loved working with Dominic. I think we had great chemistry. You know, we lived together for the first season when we did the show so that we could have more of um, a partner's relationship because uh, we were told, and I've heard this from, from various police officers since, that um, your partner is basically like, you know, your husband or your wife. You have just as close a relationship with them. You come to rely on them, trust them, be able to finish their sentences. And, uh, and I think Dominic and I had that kind of relationship and I, I cherished it. it was very special to me what would you do if there was a real zombie apocalypse I'd most likely hide hoard food and hide something probably close to what father Gabriel did I would try and get like guns and get a lot of people yeah I'm not so big on the guns myself I'd wind up shooting myself in the foot it wouldn't work out so well for me <laughs> yes. would you rather get eaten by a zombie or a kitten Oh boy, kittens can be kind of ferocious and it would take a long time to be eaten by a kitten. I'd have to go with the zombie, it'd have to be quick, take the throat out quickly, and then, you know, yeah, zombie. <laughs> what hobbies or activities do you like to do when you're not acting? I am a big sports fan. Uh, I'm a Mets fan. I like to watch baseball. I love football. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I watch a lot of sporting events. I try to get to as many as possible. I'm a huge sports fan. Um, and lately I've been watching a lot of political theater because that's, you know, the, the climate right now and it's all theater politics. Which actor or actress would you love to star with in a movie if you could choose? Hmm. Robert De Niro is, um, is one of my idols. Uh, he's one of the reasons why I became an actor. Um, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Dustin Hoffman, from the child of the 70s, and those guys were, uh, were very influential in, for me, in me wanting to, uh, to become an actor and play different people and tell stories. I would, like, I would choose like Ryan Reynolds or someone like that. Ryan Reynolds like seems a, like he's got a really sharp, quick wit and sense of humor. He seems like he'd be a lot of fun to do things with. Yeah. But then he looks a lot better than I do, and I'd probably be intimidated with that because I don't work out. <laughs> Did you ever get bullied in school when you were a kid? I uh, got bullied a little bit until I pretty much attacked my bully um, viciously. And I was big on drama at the time, so I talked a lot as I was beating him down. And that pretty much changed the tone of, uh, of his bullying. <laughs> That's, that's, like a, that's kind of a smart, yeah, it's a smart move. Yes, yes it is. Takes out a problem. Takes out the problem, sets the example for everybody else. This kid's a little crazy, let's just leave him alone. He can enjoy his lunch money and let's leave him in peace. <laughs> Have you ever had a supernatural experience in real life? I think I was in the presence of a ghost once. Um, which uh, which really freaked me out. The hairs were standing up on my arms and my and my goosebumps. I felt that the, the the climate in the room had gotten a little colder, and it felt like there was a presence around me. And it was um, it was really really freaky. I, once I went once I went outside with my friends, and I think I saw like a UFO. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it was like just some. It was just standing there. It was a light in the in the sky and my friends are like oh yeah that's just a plane and I'm like why well, come how come it's just standing there or what left and the right and then disappeared wow and that's, they're like that's pretty freaky it is it's hard to believe that we would be alone in such a huge universe right
scientists are finding like plants that that could possibly have life, like that could possibly have water on it. Of, yeah, yeah, outside of our atmosphere, I believe it. Why not? Yeah. Do you have any new projects in the works? Um, well, right now I'm, I'm excited to to get to back to work on season seven of The Walking Dead and um, filming season six of Teen Wolf. Doesn't really leave a lot of time for anything else. Uh, I've done a couple of films. I'm not going to name them because we don't know if they're going to come out in the theaters yet, and I wouldn't want to jinx them. Oz or the Eichen House? Oh, yes. You know, Eichen House, it was interesting. Jeff Davis was talking at one point he'd had an, an idea about doing a spinoff of Teen Wolf that was based at Eichen House, where, you know, with Dr. Deaton would come in, I guess, guest starring here or there, and be a whole new cast of supernatural characters uh, that he could staff the whole house with. I thought it was a fantastic idea, but I think he might be moving on to another project now. Cops or priests? Cops. Zombies or wolves? Wolves. I like. I would. I agree with you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so who does Negan kill on the show? Hmm. Well, who does he start with, or who does he end with? Because I think Negan's going to be killing a lot of people on the show, unfortunately. Like, who does he start with? Hmm. Do you have the million dollars that I would have to pay MC, AMC if I were to give that away? <laughs> Or like another project lined up for me to work on after they let me go? Because if you do, I'd be happy to tell you. So you do know that. Yes, I do. Yeah. Wow. Do you have anything you'd like to add? No, I think, I think we've kind of covered it all. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you, Elliot. My pleasure.